For servicing clack softener and filter valves, the clack service wrench and needle nose pliers and blade type screwdriver are helpful. To remove the front cover, pull the side tabs outward and forward. To remove the PC board, note the locations of the wires and gently pull down to unplug them. Note the bottom two alignment posts. To remove the drive bracket, lift the two locking tabs at the top and tilt it forward. Use the wrench to loosen and unscrew the drive cap assembly. Disconnect the regenerate piston and piston by sliding sideways to snap out of place. Pull out the spacer stack assembly. Using the wrench, unscrew the one inch injector cap. Snap the injector screen sideways to remove. To remove the injector, pull it straight up with a needle nose pliers. To release the refill elbow, pull out the locking clip and pull the elbow up. The refill flow control retainer can be pulled straight out of the refill elbow. To release the drain elbow, pull out the locking clip and pull the elbow up. The drain line flow control retainer can be pulled straight out of the drain elbow. To remove the meter, use the wrench to loosen and unscrew the one inch meter nut. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the meter by gently twisting in the provided screwdriver slot. To release the motor, squeeze the spring clip and gently pull it straight out. To remove the drive gears, depress the three tabs to release the cover. Note that these gears are all the same size, so you don't need to worry about their orientation. The regenerate piston snaps sideways out of a slot on the end of the piston. The piston snaps off the drive gear assembly in the same manner. The slots are different sizes, so they cannot be installed backward. Press the injector in place making sure it is bottomed out. Press on the injector screen. Thread the injector cap on until it's seated. Do not over tighten. Press the drain line flow control retainer into the drain elbow and press the drain L into the valve body. Secure it with the locking clip. Press the refill elbow control retainer into the refill elbow and press the refill L into the valve body. Secure it with the locking clip.
Press the meter into the valve body and secure it with the one inch meter nut. Hand tight is usually sufficient. Press in the spacer stack assembly until it's seated in the back of the valve body. Put the regenerate piston and piston together by sliding them sideways until they click into place. Do the same to attach the piston to the drive cap. These only fit in one direction so they cannot be connected backwards. Thread in the drive cap assembly until you feel it stop. Do not over tighten. Set the drive bracket onto the two bottom hooks and tilt into place. Make sure both upper locking tabs snap into place. Set the board into its two lower retaining posts and tilt into place. Make sure the upper locking tab snaps into place. Plug the wires into the board and replace the front cover. 